my latest cap tread event has led me to uh, find out about the Bedini Scalar Wave Battery Charger, I believe it's called. Where you hook uh, capacitors up in parallel, charge them up, and discharge them in series. And it either charges the battery or maintains the load. And I'm going to try and replicate that with the uh, cap tread style where um, you charge the capacitors up in parallel, discharge in series of the cap, cap tread part, and discharge again to the capacitor part in series. So basically I get two discharges for the price of one. And you guys seen my earlier videos of the cap tread where I'm able to flash the LED twice for the price of one charge. Basically the same principle. But right now I just want to give you guys a little showing a very basic showing of my Bedini scalar wave battery charger I believe it's called I don't know um, it's very simple all I have right now is uh, two capacitors right there and a 9 volt battery I'm going to hook them up in parallel and then I'm going to discharge them in series and in series is an LED so I'll just give you a little showing of what this thing really does I got 6.30 volts on this uh, uh, 9 volt right now. So I'm just going to hook everything up. We'll hook up parallel. Alright, and I'm just going to tap it on negative and the battery voltage should drop. So it was like this. Just like that. Just connect it from the parallel. And we'll put it in series. Alright, now it's in series. And the battery's regaining its voltage. This is a small load. But what I want you guys to pay attention, most importantly, is the LED. I'll flash it if I can. Just like that and there's no loss yes for that flash there was no loss I'm going to try it again show you something very important when I flash it I'm just hooking it up put it in a parallel now I'm just going to tap it over here on the negative of the battery and the voltage on the battery should go down a little bit just like that Disconnect it and we'll throw it in series. Now, this time when I tap the LED to flash it, I want you guys to pay close attention to here, just pay close attention to the voltage of the battery. And you can see it goes up a little bit. And on top of that, I get a flash from the LED, so I'm not draining the battery, I am getting a slight gain from it. Again, all I'm doing is very simple test. Charging capacitors in parallel, then hooking up in series, and discharging it through the battery. And in series with that, I have an LED to flash. Now, just for the final bit, I'm just going to hook the LED itself across the battery. Just one tap, the same tap I'll be doing when I'm charging in parallel, and watch the voltage. Hook it up real quick. Alright, there we go. And just watch the voltage. I'm just going to do a, just a simple tap like I've been doing with charging in parallel. So just watch. And you see it drops a lot. And that's just a tiny flash. And of course it's gaining back up too, but that was a much deeper discharge. And there's the same amount of light too. So yeah. It it does a deep discharge of it too. So just a very simple basic setup of I guess a scale wave battery charger. I don't know for sure. Um basically what I can tell you is that it seems that it doesn't really consume any power. The voltage just stays the same. I'm using about the same amount of power too. It's just I'm taking the energy out and putting it back. And I'm guessing it might charge. 
I don't know, but I'm pretty sure if anything, it might charge when I do the capture style of this version. This is I gave you guys a little update, and that's what it's about jumped up back to. But yeah, very simple setup.